Joining us now, Davina Mims, the manager of workplace communications for Tennessee and Mississippi for Amazon. Good morning, Davina. Thanks for coming on Middays. Good morning. Thank you so much for having Amazon. You bet. So we've got this uh, fulfillment center that you guys are building out in Madison County on the uh, Madison Mega site. I believe it's scheduled to open, if I'm not mistaken, uh, sometime in August. Is that correct? Actually, we can move that timeline up just a bit to uh, July 24th. Oh, great. All right. Well, so what it, what does it mean when you when you open a facility like this? Is there a lot of fanfare and celebration? You guys, I know, are, have been building out these facilities across the country. So Amazon is so excited to announce Jan 1 uh, in Canton, Madison County. Um, this is the first facility of its kind. Uh, here in in the area, it is a 700,000 square foot multi-level state-of-the-art fulfillment center, and uh, it's going to create more than a thousand jobs wow. in the community. Wow! And uh, we're super excited about that. You know, you're going to have employees working alongside robots to pack and ship and and get customer orders to their doors more efficient than ever. Wow! So it, yeah, it's my understanding that. This is the first uh, robotics fulfillment center in the state, but still one of the amongst the first in the country. I mean, this has been uh, an investment, a transition that Amazon has been making to implement and introduce high technology robots in the fulfillment uh, environment for some time. Is that correct? Right. So this is a relatively new technology, but, you know, Amazon is known for its innovation. And so we're always creating new ways to blend technology, uh, to work alongside, you know, human experience to to make sure that we're uh, efficient and um, utilizing all the tools and things around us to make sure that Amazon is leading uh, logistics and delivery company in the world. Right. So you said a thousand new full time jobs at the facility when are you going to start interviewing uh, and publishing information about the jobs available and so forth? That is such a great question. So right now, people can go to Amazon.com slash jobs, search Gen 1 to look at all the different types of postings that we have available. Uh, we're queuing right now. So what that means is we're uh, taking interest from folks in the community who, who want to work for us there in Amazon. And... Um, And as soon as uh, our labor orders are set, we'll open up and uh, start taking those applications and getting folks in for interviews and getting them ready for their day one. Um, Folks can actually text the word Canton to 77088 to join our text community and receive those job alerts from Amazon right now. Canton 77088. Is that right? That's right. Text the word C-A-N-T-O-N to 77088. Right. And explain to our audience about the naming convention that you guys use for these facilities. In this case, it's Jan 1, the facility here in Madison County. Right. So uh, we typically use or mirror airport codes uh, or other significant um, buildings, names. Um, for instance, uh, in Nashville, we have buildings named after Ann Dallas Dudley, who was a famous Nashvilleian. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we look for ways to make sure that we are in alignment with the community uh, and other terms that folks in the community may already be familiar with. Gotcha. So Jan 1 uh, sits there in Madison, and we're super excited. You know, it's, it's going to serve uh, the larger community there uh, for Madison County uh, and, of course, nearby Jackson. What does this mean for uh, customers of Amazon in the region when, when you install and, and uh, build out a new uh, fulfillment center in the area like that? Uh, I suspect that you're going to stock and, and keep in inventory lots of the commonly purchased products for the area so that you could shrink the uh, delivery times. That's right. As you know, with uh, the invention of Prime, we are having faster than ever delivery service options. Uh, in some cases, in some areas, folks can get items delivered same day. So uh, this particular facility will uh, use its innovation at Amazon to pick and pack smaller items like books and toys and uh, small household goods and, and things like that. 
Um, and so it's the facility that's going to serve uh, residents and folks in the community um, to get things that they use every single day much faster. Really? That's really cool. So, all right, so uh, I've had some, some work with uh, your team. Uh, I'm serving on the board here at Mass County Economic Development Authority. I had the pleasure of meeting some of the members of the team. Uh, and one of the things I learned that really impressed me about Amazon was the very <laughs> generous employee benefit package and, and the, work hour, uh, the work hour structure that is offered to employees. Can you explain that? Right. Well, um, at Amazon, you know, it's, it's day one every day for us. And so we, we think of uh, our, our job experience every day as the first day. Um, and so on day one, uh, our amazing employees are able to uh, get comprehensive benefits, which include full medical, vision, dental insurance, as well as 401ks, uh, with a 50% match starting that day one. We offer 20 weeks of maternity and parental leave and um, innovative benefits like um, leave, uh, leave share and ramp back, which is a program that we know a lot of folks made, uh, you know, decisions during the pandemic to, to maybe take on different careers or uh, stay home. But we're welcoming folks back right now. And so we have that flexibility with new families and growing families um, and um, different ways to make sure that. Uh, we are accommodating the needs of those in our community. Um, and so we're really happy about that. Amazon also uh, has a huge upskilling program through Career Choice. And through this program, uh, within 90 days of employment, employees that are hourly are eligible to have their college tuition paid for at 100% for local colleges in their community, which is amazing. And of course, uh, access to online colleges as well. And they don't have to pursue careers in logistics uh, or, 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 or business development. They can choose any career path that they want, whether it be IT, uh, medical, uh, nursing, uh, you know, tech fields, you name it. And so this is one way that Amazon gives back and helps to empower the community, uh, not only for employees that are working at Amazon currently, but for their careers in the future as well and beyond. What about the uh, the starting pay, average pay, the, the various job roles that will be available at the Jan 1 facility? So there's many different uh, jobs that uh, and, and career paths at Amazon, uh, whether you're in HR or you're seeking a management pathway. Um, you know, there's more than just uh, packing and shipping. And, of course, there's delivery, uh, logistics, um, so many different things and, and that we need in order to make this magic happen every single day. I encourage people to go to our website, amazon.com slash jobs, and check out all of the amazing careers that you can have through our company. That's absolutely excellent. So a, th a thousand, do you expect that figure to be in place on opening day? A thousand new employees? I, I don't think so. I think we, we ramp up, right? So um, day one, uh, we will be ready to do our first receive and, and get those first packages uh, packed and shipped and out the door. Uh, and this is a number that we'll grow to, but I'm, I'm confident that we'll fill up pretty quickly. Yeah. I know the folks there in the community have been waiting for this facility for quite a while, and we're excited to open those doors on July 24th. Yeah, absolutely. So it's our understanding, Davina, uh, help us out here, that you'll actually start the interview process within 30 days of opening day. Is that correct? So there are a lot of different things that go into uh, how we ramp up. Um, we actually already have uh, quite a few folks working to, to open the facility and get it ready on day one. So some folks are already on staff uh, working really hard to, to help bring on new team members uh, and get them um, all skilled up and trained and ready to go. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, do, what other f fulfillment centers, uh, facilities do you have in your region? You're, you're responsible for Tennessee and Mississippi. You have some in Tennessee as well, right? I do. There are about 20 uh, facilities in Tennessee, uh, Knoxville, Chattanooga, uh, M Memphis, uh, Nashville, of course. Wow. Uh, and so um, these are all different types of sites, whether uh, it's a delivery station. We have sub-same-day delivery stations. We have fulfillment centers. Um, we even have a facility that just handles hazmat materials alone. So there's um, all different types of ways that Amazon uh, gathers uh, its, its products and stores them uh, safely and then gets them out to customers once they're ordered. 
Yeah, just just time for about a 10 second response. You guys really emphasize building these facilities and operating uh, in accordance with the uh, the the um, low climate, uh, I should say, low carbon footprint standards. That's right. So these newer generation buildings are built to uh, for safety first. Uh, that's always our top priority, but then we're also looking for ways to make sure that we're being a good employer to our environment and, and a safe way to, to, to operate as well. Appreciate and I, it. And, and I only have a second left, but I want to make sure I thank all of the partners who have made this uh, possible uh, in, in Madison County and beyond, all of our government officials and, and